Bye, Tim. Leave him after. I don't know. Corey, is the bank with beer. It's the bank with the beers. Yeah. We just keep going up today. See the hikers on the ridge? Woo! What are these absolutely terrifying bugs that are all in this thing? I hate them. I hate them. Why are they? Why are there so many of you? Right, so today is our first day back hiking after narrowing into Julian, then zeroing in Julian, which was amazing by the way. Julian is an absolutely incredible town. Um, and we hitched a ride back this morning with Rangel, the trail angel. He is incredible as well. Um, when we got to Scissors Crossing, he um, had told us about Lieutenant Dan was going to be there with some trail magic, so I had a beer at 8.30 in the morning, um, and while we were standing there, um, Scout, who I saved Scout and Frodo at the beginning of my journey, Scout came down there and he had temporary tattoos for all of us, so I got a shabu, I got a neck tat, it's pretty sweet, I don't even know if you could see that, anyways, so I just thought it was interesting to say that at 8 30 in the morning i got a tattoo and drank a beer always good oh my god i just turned a corner and scared the absolute shit out of the lizard and he just like yeeted himself off this mountain and i feel so bad because <laughs> i just i saw him rolling down i think they can live through that right they're used to that he felt pretty pretty yeah. i have been waiting for this oh my god Look how pretty! Ah, so insane! Okay, next up on desert plants. What are these crazy bad boys? Oh my goodness, they're coming out of... Wow, desert is sweet. Desert is sweet. Look how cool that is. I literally just heard what I thought was a helicopter going over my head. And I look up to see it was actually indeed a swarm of bees, like a hundred million of them flying right above my head. Just like, I've never been so terrified in my whole life. I luckily escaped the situation, but wow, that was, that was too much. It's very, very hot today. I think I've sat down like in every single shady spot. What's going on there? What is that? What's happening? Oh, my backpack. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm like planning on sitting down for like an hour now because the sun is just, it's getting to me. It just feels like I can't drink enough water. I can't eat enough. I just feel like exhausted from the sun so I'm gonna stay here for a while and see what happens I have another seven miles to camp um because it's the next water source this has been a dry section it was 14 miles to water today so yeah update all right so <clears throat> I'm definitely sick um yesterday was really rough for me uh, just like the 14 miles to water were like all uphill and exposed in the hot, hot sun and I know it's a desert and I know what it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be like but we just haven't had a day like that yet so it was just rough on top of being like sick um, on top of chafing really badly um, it was definitely a wobble into camp and then this morning I'm still feeling like crap my throat is like dry and sore Stuffy nose. I can't tell if it's allergies because of the super bloom out here. Um, but it's going to be a long, hot, exposed day again. So we'll see. I 
I do really just love this community though because as I was just walking up a hill, my allergies are, they're taking me out. They're just making me exhausted, like not wanting to hike today. And this couple passes and they're like, oh, how you doing? And I was like, oh, you know, allergies. And they were like, do you have an allergy pill? And I was like, no, because even though I have allergies, I didn't bring any pills. And the one guy, Lucas, goes, oh, I have one. And he literally took off his backpack and dug to the bottom of his bag to grab me an allergy pill. So, thank you, Lucas. Okay, I'm just minding my own business, and I thought this was a stick. That is a snake. I have no idea if it's a rattler. I have no idea about anything. I think it is, though, so I'm just going to leave. <laughs> no, I can't tell. I don't think it is. I don't know. I really don't know. What are you? Why are you moving so slowly? Today we go into the Montezuma Valley Market to resupply. Um, they do have lodging. I've been considering it just because I am sick and I think it's fairly cheap lodging. It feels weird to get a room like two days after getting a room, but you know, when you're sick, you're sick. Um, I'm really just excited to have like a Gatorade or like a Coke or just something that's not water or like Propel because that's all I've been drinking. <laughs> I'm not gonna go inside, but this is marked on the map as a small cave. Um, I can't do small caves, but. So I'm back to not eating. Um, last night I went to bed without dinner and this morning I had a half a bagel and that was all I could like fathom. Um, so I'm trying the breakfast essentials to try to drink some calories because I feel like that's gonna be my best bet. Okay, wow, update. So, Lucas changed my life because I, I'm definitely not 100%, but my energy level has gone up like 10 billion percent, which is crazy that allergies can make you feel that exhausted because I really like, even on the flat parts, was having trouble breathing, having trouble like, like I wanted to stop at every shady spot. Oh God. Um, so I just feel, really incredible <laughs> and I'm really close to the 100 mile marker so and then I only have like a mile and a half to go after that which just to change I got to camp at like 6 30 yesterday today I'm gonna get to camp at like noon I don't want to hear it <laughs> mm -hmm. going to be our fifth round of trail magic at this location. So yesterday we had a really short day, like 10 miles um, from the water cache to um, Montezuma Road basically, um, which is where we got a hitch from Mike, the owner of um, Montezuma Valley Market into Montezuma Valley Market and resupplied, but that place is just really freaking cool and uh, they have a lot of stuff. They have beer. You can sit and chill out and charge your devices. So we were there for probably like three or four hours, <laughs> um, but I needed sunglasses because I broke mine yesterday and Mike literally went to his car and grabbed me a pair of sunglasses. So thank you, Mike. <laughs> Um, then at like the trailhead, which is kind of like pretty close to where we camped, 
there was like an insane amount of trail magic. Um, we had mimosas and pop and brats and tons of snacks, tons of cookies, tons of whatever. So literally yesterday, I didn't even eat any of the food that I brought, <laughs> which means my bag's just heavy, but yeah. And then at camp, we had a campfire and um, a couple hikers from previous year's cruiser and apple made hot dogs and baked beans and stuff for everybody. So it was just, yesterday was a really good day, um, which is great because the day before that was very hard. So happy. I look like a bug in these. And look at this, me and Chris start hiking at the same time. Look at where he is. Like, he's just a speedy guy. Also, so a couple exciting things about today is number one, we're gonna pass Eagle Rock, which um, is a rock formation that looks like an eagle. Um, it's also like a sacred indigenous area. So um, years prior, a lot of people have like gotten up and climbed and whatnot on this rock, but um, the indigenous tribes around have um, asked for that to not go on anymore. And also I guess they're having like some trash issues, which I like to think isn't PCG hikers, um, because it seems like there are quite a few day hikers coming in today. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see that. And then we also are going to finish section A, which it's cool, like knocking off a section of the PCT is like pretty sweet. <laughs> so we'll be moving on to section B. Okay, I could smell them for miles. Now I know where they are. <laughs> We're walking past cow pie after cow pie. And I actually even saw like a hoof print in the sand and was trying to figure out what animal it was. And then I realized it was a cow. <laughs> but there they are. Oh, I kind of wish they were closer to the trail so I could give them a little hug. This beautiful meadowy pond. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. All right, so we hiked like nine miles today really quickly to um, Warner Springs. Um, and there's a community center there uh, where you can like charge up your phone. You can take a bucket shower. You can do bucket laundry if you want. Um, they have like Coke and uh, like Gatorade and stuff for sale. Uh, they have real bathrooms. Uh, and it's completely donation based. They're so sweet. I put up with the stinky hikers. Um, and then there was a shuttle service to 
the mini mart down the road. So we got <laughs> uh, sausage dogs for lunch, uh, a couple cold pops, and we hung out there for like a couple hours. And now we're back on trail, and we have like I don't know 5.3 or something less than that. Now we've been walking for a little bit, and it's just been it's been gorgeous. Um, but yeah, today's been beautiful. Also, if you can't tell, I have new sunscreen, new sunglasses again. Those other ones just weren't working out. So I bought a pair from Mini Mart, which I highly advise you don't do, because they were $27.99. Even the cashier said, what a ripoff. And I said, I know, but my eye protection is important. So <laughs> we got a cross here, huh? Woo -woo. I'm just going right in. It feels good, I've been so hot.